Welcome and good day. This short video is a little test to give you an understanding about poor posture. First of all, most of you spend your time in a seated position, either on a computer, you may just be texting around the house, you may be uh, just working or writing, you may be sitting, you may be a secretary, an accountant, or uh, whatever professional you are. It doesn't make a difference. The bottom line is we're all in this position. We've got uh, excessive contracture of the hip flexors. Uh, if you're sitting for long periods of time, my best advice for you is try to get up every 30 minutes or so, even if you have to set a little clock, change positions frequently. But I want to show you th the damaging of poor posture. First of all, when you sit, if you notice in here, I have a lumbar support. This lumbar support, you should have a rolled up towel, rolled up pillow to support that lumbar spine. If you look here, this is the normal curvature that you have in your lower back area here in the lumbar spine. It's a lordotic curve. We want to fulfill this curve. If we sit down without fulfilling the curve, with the curve, the pelvic rocks backwards like this, the curve gets straighter. We put more load on the discs. And as a result of that, look what happens here. Uh, this kyphosis becomes worse in the thoracic spine. It allows our shoulders to roll forward, our head to go forward. And this causes a whole episode of kinetic, kinetic chain problems in the body. Now what I'd like you to do first, I want to show you a little simple thing you can understand the damage that you're doing to your spine. If you sit back on a lumbar pillow or something behind you, what's going to happen is your butt's going to stick back a little bit more, you're going to arch your back, your lower back should be a little bit arched, not excessive, and now this is perfect posture because now I'm supporting my lower back and when you sit, when you drive, these are the things you should be doing. But you notice right now everything looks good. My shoulders are over my ears, my chest is up. My shoulders are back, I'm relaxed, I can breathe easy, my head's nice and tall. Now go bring your head forward, bring your head backwards. You notice when you bring your head backwards, uh, you can touch pretty much the back of your head with your upper back area. Okay, you feel that? You can look straight up, feel that? Okay, now what I want you to do, I want you just to lean forward from your chair, don't support your lower back, let your back curve come out. Okay, don't sit up straight, just kind of like hunch, hunch back, hunch down a little bit where you're where your pelvic has actually uh, rotated back and it's that curve in your lower back pretty much is not there. Now I want you to look down and now look all the way back. Okay, you can't. If you notice, when that curve is gone and you don't support your lower back, right now I got forward rounded shoulders, my head's slightly forward, and so when I go forward there's no problem, but when I go back, I cannot put the back of my head touching the back of my upper back now because everything has changed, the whole dynamics of the, of the spine has changed. And the point I want you to understand is, the lesson learned here is that what goes on below, everything above has to follow. It's a kinetic chain. So once you lose that curve in your lower back and you're slouching, you're not sitting up straight, uh, that means the curve in your mid-back becomes excessive. You start developing the rounded forward shoulders and forward head posture, and now going back, your back your head cannot touch the back of your upper back area when you look upwards and it actually hurts, it's restricted. Well, that damage is being done. That's just a test that you know mentally that something's not right. So that's the importance of sitting up straight, using a lumbar pillow, taking breaks, getting up often is very important. I hope this makes a big change for you and a change in the future so you can preserve your health because when you have problems and you are suffering, I'm here to educate you how to stay well Rather than, rather than just trying to chase the symptom. Chasing a symptom is just like popping a pill or, or doing a potion of lotion. That's not what it's about. It's preventative medicine, prevention, because that's what's going to keep you healthy for a long, long time. Share this video, please. Uh, I'll ask you so you can help others. Subscribe if you haven't, so you can continue to receive our self-help videos. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel. Thank you.